Hello everybody, welcome to your short wind down sequence. This is good for just before you're about to go to bed or if you want to have that little wind down period before slowing down. Let's start in a comfortable seat. You can start to close your eyes, softening into your body, tuning into your breath. Tuning into how your body is feeling because throughout our busy days when we're out and about it's so hard to find the awareness to come back to you taking this time to notice if you're carrying tension in any part of your body Maybe your shoulders and your neck, your hips, your facial muscles. And in these few moments, I encourage you to send your breath into any area that needs a little bit of softening, a little bit of relief, a little bit of openness. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. And this way of breathing helps to stimulate relaxation. Taking three more rounds of breath here. Softening, centering and grounding. When you are ready, you can slowly open your eyes and we'll get started in all fours. So all fours position, you can soften into your body. No need to worry too much about the alignment here. I want you to think, relaxing your neck, relaxing your head and breathing into the back of your body. As you inhale, the lower back expands. And as you exhale, it softens. Going into a few rounds of cat-cow, you can keep your eyes closed, you can keep your neck soft. As you inhale, start to arch the back, articulating the spine, squeezing the shoulder blades together as you peel the chest forward, chin comes up. And as you exhale, leading from the pelvis, round down and under, tailbone tucks, and the back starts to round vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale. Flowing with your breath, nothing too forceful. Exhale to release. Inhale. And exhale to release. Now come to find a neutral spine. You can widen your knees just a little bit so they're a little bit wider, big toes touch. Now coming into your child's pose. Stretch the arms forward. Allow the sit bones to rest onto your knees, onto your heels. No force, no pushing. Just allowing your body to be where it is. Walk the fingertips forward to lengthen the sides of your waist to feel the expansion, to feel the stretch. From here, crawl your fingertips over towards the right side. So you fold the body on top of the right thigh, feeling the stretch in the left side body. See if you can walk the left fingertips forward a little bit more. Soften and melt into the floor, into the ground. 
come back to center lengthen forward and then walk over towards your left so again you want to fold over your left thigh think of walking the right fingertips further forward breathing deeply exhaling fully come back to center child's pose send the left hand underneath your right arm bring the left ear to touch the floor we're coming in to thread the needle in child's pose so as you rest the left ear on the floor can you walk the left fingertips further towards the right if you want a little bit more, you can spin the chest open. Deep breathing. Slowly release, left hand back to where it was, child's pose. Switching sides, your right hand comes underneath your left arm, right ear to the floor. Crawling the right fingertips more towards the left side. If you want more, you can spin the chest open. Slowly come back to center. Good, and then coming up into all fours. Keeping your knees where they are, walk the hands forward, coming into puppy pose. So as you walk the hands forward, keep the sit bones high and lower the chest down to the floor. So we're trying to open up the upper back here. If this is too much for you, you can come onto your forearms and then just melt the chest into the floor. Softening the upper back, softening the mid back. Very nice, and then slowly slide forward Coming into Sphinx pose, so your forearms are on the floor, chest is high, chest is open. Taking a few rounds of breath here in this extension pose. Feeling the chest open, feeling the shoulder blades squeeze in towards each other. And then slowly lower the chest all the way down to the floor. You can rest the forehead on your hands. Hands to the floor, push back, downward dog. Take the left foot outside the left hand. Lizard lunge. Take the right knee to the floor and then pick up the right toes. Now the left hand swings back, catch the foot and then gently draw it in. Breathe deeply as you twist the body towards the left. Slowly release. Now stretch the left leg back, half splits, hamstring stretch. So a little bit wider with the position helps you get into the hip a little bit better, a little bit easier, especially when you're trying to wind down, preparing for bed, preparing for a restful night of sleep. step forward now wiggle your left foot over towards the right coming into pigeon pose let the left shin land on the floor allow the back knee to release and you can stay here or you can come onto your forearms for a passive pose softening the whole body Every time you exhale, can you allow the left outer hip to release a little bit deeper?
slowly come back to center, hands to the floor, very slowly at your own pace, tuck the toes gently, pushing back, downward dog. Right foot comes outside the right hand, lizard lunge. Sink the hips as low as you can for today. We want to feel the stretch in the left thigh. So a long stretch here. And an opening in the right hip. Back knee to the floor, pick up the back toes. Right hand swings back, catch the foot. And then any amount, your own intensity, pull the heel closer towards your hips. The further you pull in, the more you'll get into the left thigh. Slowly release, hands to the floor. Shift your hips back, half splits. Right leg straight or as much as you can. And I want you to think shifting your hips back as you reach the arms forward. Good, come back to center. Wiggle the right toes over towards the left, landing the shin on the floor. And then the left leg walks back. Many options for pigeon. You can stay here with the chest upright or you can lower onto your forearms. Trying to release the right outer hip. As you exhale, can you soften the whole body? Let the whole body melt into the floor. No need to grip, no need to hold, no need to tense. Take the hands back to the floor, coming back up and then tucking the toes, pushing back, downward dog. Take your knees to the floor, come into a cross leg position. Okay, interlace the hands, push the palms forward for a stretch, kick the arms over your head. Breathing deeply, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. Good, now take the right hand to the right side. Gentle side bend here. Stretch the left arm towards the right side, lengthening the left side body. Come back to center, left hand to the floor, right arm over your ear, stretch. Come back to center, both arms up. Inhale, lengthen tall. Exhale, twist towards your right. Lower the hand to your knee, right hand behind you. Push into the mat to lift your chest and then exhale, turn. Just a few gentle twists here to mobilize the spine. Come back to center, both arms up. Inhale, tall, exhale, twist left. So rotate from the upper back. Now lower the right hand down, left hand to the floor, lift the chest, and then twist. Back to center, both arms up. Inhale, toe. Exhale, release the arms. Two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, release the arms. One more. Inhale, up. Exhale, release the arms. Okay, that is it for today. Thank you for joining me on the mat.